Hey guys, so I have finished my little project um, and this is a demonstration of it. Uh, first time around I'm just going to do the demonstration and after that I'll fly around and take a closer look at the major parts of it. So uh, here we go. So basically the goal here is to get that ore from, well that stone from point A to point B. And uh, first off I am going to lift it out of the little hangar with my 3 axis uh, crane. Which I will of course be getting more into at the ending of the video. Right now I have to kind of focus on not breaking the entire thing apart because of because uh, the main parts of it is made of uh, light armor which isn't exactly known for its durability alright then so Now it's sitting all nice and cozy there. Now all we gotta do is wait a little bit because my timing really really sucks. Um, but that's how life goes sometimes. There's the little fella. And off goes our car container. Okay, it's gonna take a while to get down there, so I'll just take a quick look. Okay, so this is my uh, three axis crane. As you can see, it is oversized as hell um, and not really convenient for anything. Um, the first card is this one that go moves up and down the rails mounted to the station with I think 10 wheels or something uh, holding it in this direction and only 4 holding it this because it doesn't uh, get a lot of torque Let's see where's the car, it's there, I better go down and look I'll explain the rest later well this isn't really something I haven't done before I'm not actually sure it's gonna work it may just bash uh, the poor little container to pieces but let's see what happens Oh, there we go. We got the container of point A to point B. Uh, this is basically the same gravity grappling as I have demonstrated in other videos. It's just not as compact. Um, so yeah, the idea was to make a system that is semi-automated, but until we get some automated uh, construction of car containers that's not really going to happen unless I can make a circular system which would technically be possible but yeah um, that's basically it uh, now for the parts this is the rail card I just I uploaded the video of this uh, a few days ago and the only changes I've made is that I've actually modified the gravity fields to hold something uh, also the same graveling gravity grappling concept as my previous videos and then I added the heavy armor on top of it to prevent the thrusters from burning well the thing apart and it's been running continuously for I don't know how many hours so it's safe to say that it's stable um, I never really turned it off since I built <laughs> and finally the crane. Let's call it the crane. Um, okay, let's start from the other end. This is basically a... Um, well, this is the cockpit. This is uh, what... Um, 
landing gear and stuff, which is basically mounted on a large rod that goes through the entire machine uh, and onto engines, which is used to force it and all the other plates uh, around. This piece here is um, connected directly to the wheels, these two and these four on both sides, which uh, make it able to move sideways on these two rails, which in turn is mounted on this uh, big chassis that has wheels scrapping um, the vertical lines going from the station making it able to move in all three directions. Uh, there are other ways to do this, but uh, this was the only way I could immediately think of that wouldn't require thrusters on the bottom side of this one. That's pretty important because if you have thrusters on the bottom side of the head of the crane, um, you would only be able to use it in this kind of setup, not even because you would burn your base up as you go down. Um, which is the reason for the form of the design. Uh, so yeah, as always I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions feel free to put them down in the comments below and thank you for watching.